you have the floor thank you thank you honorable speaker and i uh, thank you honorable uh, member for the question honorable speaker the, uh, the the important thing is to be able to ensure that uh, the person that's coming in has immune protection against sars cov 2 uh, transmission and uh, to be able to do this the gold standard test for detecting the presence of these uh, functional antibodies because it uh, is is actually quite intensive and uh, uh, labor and time time intensive and requires highly skilled staff so uh, that is why the current evidence at the moment is about uh, ensuring that uh, once there's been vaccination but having the quarantine period and that who uh guidance around that hasn't changed the quarantine duration uh is regardless of which variant it is whether it's a, 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 a variant of concern or a variant of interest uh in respect of the, the who guidance as of 19th august 2020 remains is that the consideration of quarantine uh, should continue and as i alluded to earlier the impact on the uh, on the vaccination on the, uh, the immune protection is difficult to be able to to, to assess and therefore uh, what is important is that that quarantine continues now the other thing is that the um, there's been studies that are looking at the impact on the transmission of the virus on uh, with vaccination and there's some some good studies coming through but again the who uh, guidance remains is that these are ongoing studies and they need con- to continue to be reviewed and so uh, nearly all countries and areas in the WHO western pacific region which we are part of enforce arrival quarantines of at least 14 days in some instance instances up to 21 days uh, around about the uh, end of last year when the first wave of the virus uh, was a sort of winning off there was some uh, easing of restrictions on movements including uh, timings of quarantine in, in in certain jurisdictions uh, when i was looking at one, one article it went up to around 30 countries that did that but certain days have said uh, just now uh, a lot of countries in the western pacific region have now come back to looking at actually uh, having quarantine and certain quarantine free travel arrangements has also been made between covid contained countries and i think that's important to understand so australia and new zealand as we all know and, and also singapore and china Uh, I have with me a list of uh, countries and so I've, I've said China, Hong Kong, uh, where there's modified quarantine for fully vaccinated individuals coming from restricted to low risk countries uh, which is Australia, New Zealand and Singapore. Uh, Mongolia for fully vaccinated can enter without a negative test with a, with a negative test in the house before uh, Japan, Republic of Korea vaccine passport apps uh, need to be available. what is becoming very very clear is that vaccination is the way for vaccination is the key and vaccination and having uh, the vaccination passport or vaccination certification is also very important uh, for the reasons that i've stated above uh, and for this moment at this time whilst we haven't uh, achieved the certain significant number of the population that we need for protection or herd immunity it is important that we keep the quarantine measures as we as we speak i also want to share this time my honorable speaker that as of today 107000 fijians have been vaccinated and out of that 107000 as as i speak 2900 today as of today have been vaccinated fully receiving both doses of the vaccine now there's a light at the end of the tunnel in the swiss to speak as long as we continue to receive vaccines as the vaccines come and we continue to take those vaccines and put it into the arms of all pigeons then we can see there is a light at the end of the tunnel this and before i finish honorable speaker i just want to pay tribute to our staff in lotok hospital uh, who are finishing the 21 days of sequestration uh, uh, to today to dr ringamoto and dr susana and your teams and dr mara thank you very much and when you come up tomorrow Uh, please enjoy the break to learn the facts thank you the honorable minister